All right, guys. Welcome in Dune Monthly. We got our marquee matchup of today, March 19th. We are joined by Angelero. Angelero, how you doing? <clears throat> Hello, I'm quite good. And you? Right. I'm doing good. We got John Drama. What's up, John? Not so much, man. Excited for this matchup. We got Bahutal. Hello, everyone. Viva la France. And we have Zis. What's up, Zis? Right, what's up, comrades? Alright, so we have our uh, four players today. We have Biz, Lockji, Logic, and Spielberg. So let's talk about the players uh, for a little bit. Let's start with Fizz. Fizz is our Vernius player. Who's our resident Vernius expert here? Who wants to who wants to tackle who wants to tackle this? It's hard to hear you. I'm like you're you're breaking up for a second there, Kree. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Can you guys hear me now? Is that better? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, so, nice. okay. So we have Fizz on Vernius here. What do you guys think about Fizz uh, playing Vernius? Um, who's who's got the most Vernius experience here? Yes, my lord. Certainly not I. Not John Angelero. As far as I know, uh, he practiced a lot as uh, Vernius. It's House of Vernus, and as, as far as I know, he tried a lot of new things with uh, this. I mean, he might he might give much more interesting information, but uh, I saw his last game, and he did it really well. Played around Assassination, and as uh, every Vernus player, you don't uh, try to take your first village as fast as you can. you looking for the best way to spread your notes. That's what we are witnessing right now. Zis, you've been you've been in the lab with Fizz. Is this true? Yeah, I played with him maybe for thirty minutes. He asked me to test some things, and uh, probably we can expect something interesting. I'm not sure, but uh, for example, he was interested how fast the boys can kill the main base, for example. And things like this. So, I do not know. Will he use that's it? That's a good question. I'm curious. How fast can Subways kill a main base? Can they? I wonder if the, the bigger question is how long can they survive attacking the main base? But I guess if you have a, a flagship and tank. Well, we didn't test uh, exactly it. But I know that he planned to test it without me after. Okay. So... I think probably, maybe, we can uh, even expect some early aggression from Vernius. But I'm not sure. We'll see. Vahutal, have you put any hours in on this faction, on Vernius? Not at all. I still didn't play uh, Vernius, but I don't know if he's play Vernius, but he's French, so I expect him to do uh, great things. <laughs> okay, the French, the French supporting the French. Okay, as far as his counselors go. Um, He's got and he's... people <laughs> once again. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know that I'm fanboy of Fizz. <laughs> I'm a Fizz fanboy like... too. I love his accent. Yeah. I love the way he speaks and that. Yeah, it is... it's, it's like music to my ears people, listening to the French accent. People should realize that Fizz is super ex experienced player. This guy has around 2,000 hours in this game. Not in this patch, not in previous patch, but overall, it's like 2,000 hours guy who like very, very experienced. So, yeah, if he made some researches, if right now he has some plans, then, like, we can expect many interesting moves from him. Like, right. in my opinion, the, the French king is back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Fizz is playing, he's playing um, Bolig, and he's playing Tessia. And so these two counselors are pretty strong. I think Bolig lets you... Uh, gain one knowledge per completed district bonus and you can rearrange the buildings in your asphalt the way you want and it allows you to build more than one at the same time in the same district and then Tessia uh, allows you to uh, launch uh, super strong counselor allows you to launch assassination with only level two infiltration and she has uh, the ability to give you 100% of your knowledge as intel if you stop your research so I think these counselors you know, some people are still playing Bronzo, uh, the guy that gives you minus 20% authority to annex at, at the periphery of your uh, 
mural nodes. But uh, I think these two counters are pretty much the strong ones. I, I don't see a lot of people playing with Cammer, who's the influence guy. Uh, it's kind of I think it's gen generally accepted that it's harder to do a Landsrad victory with these guys, although it's not impossible. Um, any comments on the counselors, uh, Zis? Since you've been putting in some time here, any comments on the counselors that he's chosen or the meta for this mm, faction? Still, still not. Still not. I'm still testing like. Uh... Uh, usual factions like Atreides, Karkonen, Arena, and still even didn't touch this faction. I don't know. But, uh, what, what can we see? He have four special regions quite close to him. I mean, he can reach uh, both, uh, in, two of them like uh, two, two tiles away. No, yeah, every, yeah. every one is two tiles away. So four, four ornithopters too. He's got four ornies. Yeah, so he's, he wants to explore the map real early. Um, let's go on to our next player, Lockji. Lockji is our eCash player. Uh, he had a win on Smugglers earlier in the game. Who's our resident eCash expert so here? Green Cream, something wrong again with your micro. My microphone? Yeah, now it's key. Alright, I don't know. It's, it cuts in and out sometimes. You just deal with it. Um, okay. So, our. Uh, our ECAS player, Lockji, and uh, who's our resident ECAS expert in here? Uh, I can tell you a little bit about these counselors, Come if on. you'd like. Uh, it yes. looks like he's running VIP and Mesa. Um, definitely focused around sanctuaries and masterpieces here. VIP is the one, I believe, that lets you use Landsrat immunity on resolution, so you can make yourself ineligible, but that does come at the cost of Landsrat standing. But to offset that, uh, he also has gained two Landsrat standing Per masterpiece you build uh, and then mesa is you get a hundred percent of the authority capture cost back uh when you abandon a village and then each masterpiece outside of your ter territory uh gives minus 15 percent siege duration and then you can just build masterpieces really fast with mesa so i think she's she's a little more impactful um but vip is also an interesting choice um his map looks pretty okay too he's got two He's got two specials that I see. Uh, he's got the Spacey Cruiser and Moondu Veil. And as far as Sanctuary creation goes, I mean, he can definitely make the one to the right of his main base a Sanctuary, and then he could probably make the Moondu Veil a Sanctuary. How do you guys feel about making special tiles a Sanctuary? I don't have as much. I normally build my Sanctuaries around Village Quirks and not as much. I mean, if it's a spice, I want to take it generally, um, but I haven't given too much thought to specifically targeting specials as as the Sanctuary territories. The reason the reason why I ask is because we were just watching a little bit of the other Dune, ma Dune monthly match that's going on right now, and I think Doghead is playing the Smugglers, I mean the uh, the ECAS, and he has like the most amazing setup I've ever seen. It is yeah. very specifically, he has three sanctuaries that are uniques that are all that, real close to his main base. Yeah, and so like, I mean, the, the, the hedge spike potential for him at the end of the game is somewhere over like 8,000. If he can capture three of those simultaneously, you know. Um, our hedge spike king, Zis. Zis, what do you think about this? The, the hedge spike king. Sanctuaries is it well, as, uh, as uh, unique to sanctuaries or no? Sanctuary gave a lot of hegemony. Oh, how much hegemony they give? Like a regular village or more? Uh, it'll it's give you more. It's the same amount of. It's the same amount of hegemony. It's oh. just yeah. It's yeah. the fact that we just so, talk, we're, we're talking about sanctuary as a special region. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, do but you think, so do you think this is good? Yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, I mean, if you want to play Gemoni, why don't you pick a special instead and put Workshop instead of uh, making it as a Sanctuary? Right. Um, because because is, is you that will... That's a question. Right? I, I don't play a lot of Ikaz. So... Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. a good question. That's because good question. It's, because it, as Ikaz, probably you will lead in Hegemony pretty hard. And at some point, people will focus you down. So actually, you even don't want to take specials if you have possibility. You want to, to make them sanctuaries because, again, you will lead in hegemony because Ek is producing a lot of authority. So it's better to hide your hegemony in specials with your sanctuaries. Well, 
I mean, sometimes yes, sometimes not. I mean, when you have uh, spaceship wreck, for example, yeah. Uh, how's the sure, wreck? Sure. Sure. Uh, yeah, you definitely uh, want to take it. Or uh, if sure. you, you have white rift, I also would prefer to take white rift over uh, sure. making it. Not totally agree. It depends from the special region. Yeah, sometimes the bonus is so nice that it's much better to take it. Especially when you play, you you like must play as Ikas around quirks as uh, Karina do, and uh, I mean I, I know a little bit about Ikas definitely, and uh, I'm a little bit surprised that he uh, didn't don't have Sanya because from my point of view in uh, current state of the game Sanya is kind of a must pick because you need. If you want to spam as much uh, masterpieces as you want to, you definitely need like tons of plays great. And if it's only two uh, sanctuaries, you can reduce by a ridiculous amount the cost of every masterpiece. So you can just spike everything you want much faster. So yeah. do not. That means you're not and playing. Does that mean you're not playing Mesa then? Because. I mean, you're not dropping FIP, right? The the fact that they can't get voted out, I think well, FIP is yeah. like a must. You know, I tried play without her and it worked quite well and I still was able to win by uh, Goff because, okay, uh, it only means that you need to win two charters instead of one because you still have tremendous amount of influence cup and... Uh, combination of Mesa and Sanya makes it even much better because you can do much, you can build much more masterpieces even much more yeah. than uh, without Sanya and so, Sanya, Sanya specifically is for every sanctuary it's plus 15 uh, salary production and then minus 40 percent masterpiece construction so it's not it's important. not insignificant yeah right so so the question is uh Ikaz is one of those factions that can break the authority cap and can break the influence cap. Can, can you explain how they can do that? Just for players that don't understand. That's a very yeah. unique ability that's unique to Ikaz only. You can see native artist Zetech is, is called. Yeah, he is. Oh, look at that. To... Ironically, he's ho hovering over it as you're speaking about it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He feels us. He's right. hearing us. And... Uh, hopefully he's not hearing us. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so, and... Uh... This tech gives gives you a possibility to build a museum. I don't remember how it called fully, it's the but the Museum of Unbound Arts. Oh yeah, it, it's the so... it's a blue building in the uh, ECAS main base. Yeah, so it let you build uh, any uh, kind of uh, masterpieces as much as you want in uh, your village because basically you can build uh, one of every type, yellow, blue, or red. But uh, with ma uh, with museum you can build as much as you want. I mean, uh, not more than five, uh, not more than uh, than buildings are available in a village. Uh, and uh, it also gives per masterpiece you've built uh, plus five authority cap, plus five manpower cap, and the most important from my point of view, plus five influence cap. So when you have, and it's uh, quite possible to have uh, like uh, 50 uh, masterpieces, you have plus uh, 250 uh, influence authority and manpower it's insane and it's, it yeah. is it's yeah it's, a, it's, it's an incredible crazy good building it really it's is crazy very good solid and that's how you uh being able to build multiple of the same type of of masterpieces how, how you really maximize you know your production in certain you know quirk based territories you took around sanctuaries so it's yep. yeah it's huge okay all right, so we're going to go on to our next player, who's Logik. Logik is currently the ticket leader in the tournament. He's the only one that's gone undefeated in all three rounds. So he's got the most tickets at 15. He's our smuggler player. He's playing uh, he's playing Staban Lingar, uh, who's our resident smuggler expert here. I think that's uh, Angulero and Vahutal. You guys want to have a little bit of a dialogue here about, you know, what do we expect to see out of Logik? And... Uh, his council choices um, I, I would prefer Vahutol to start because everything I know about uh, Smax I learned from him actually so uh, for a council choice uh, I mean uh, you have two options I think right now for Smuggler two good options first is Tab and Linger and second is uh, Steven and uh, Stakhanov 
uh, both are great for uh, hegemony and uh, chum uh, here we can see smuggler pick uh, choice to pick uh, special in, pr in priority so you will get a lot of hegemony quick you will try to get 10k um, 10k hegemony bonus uh, to put a building in enemy main base uh, uh, I expect him to to play around Chum and Hegemony. He will try to build as much hard Hegemony as possible because if he build a lot of workshop, this Hegemony can be removed. So I I prefer that's why I prefer Smuggler for uh, an Hegemony instead of Ekaz because Ekaz is a lot of self Hegemony. So if someone attack you and remove your village one by one, one, by one uh they can people can reduce your uh, hegemony but in the case of smuggler it's a bit harder and he, he's, he choose uh, stubborn uh, lingard so he will try to i think he will uh, he will be dominant in this match uh, in uh, for chrome uh, he will produce a, a little bit less hegemony than stack enough but it's still a good choice and uh, we can see here you already picked uh, polar uh, well of Rich and the third one, I don't remember the name, but it's uh, really a, a Mount really Idaho. Uh, guys, yeah. guys, guys, I smell blood. I smell blood. Logic, I think, like, <laughs> I, I know we all know what he's planning to do. Okay, let's, ta like, let's talk about can't... it. Okay, let's let's talk about our fourth player before we go there. Before we go there. So, our fourth yeah. player is, is Spielberg. Okay, and I'm looking at Spielberg's tech tree. It's incredibly greedy. There's no red tech at the moment, and we're entering month three. So Spielberg is uh he's kind yeah, of a I story. think he will go for Chum instead. Of, I because, think he uh, might go for he, an aggressive he play here. A, a on blue. So he will try to get as much um Lundstrad as possible. And uh, having a high Lundstrad allow you to buy a Chum for cheaper. So I think he he, he focused Chum uh, more in more than uh, hegemony if we look at the tech tree. Okay, let me let me introduce our fourth player because he's a Karina player and I, I have some experience on Karina. So we have Irulan Fenring, standard choices. Uh, he's a bit of a storied player, a little bit controversial. He's got a lot of wins. His name is Spielberg. He's won the turn tournament. I think he's won this tournament. And um, definitely, you know, say what you want about some of the choices. When you're watching third person, it's easy to pick apart somebody's game but the results are the results. So right now Spielberg's sitting on 15 CP and uh, he's generating, at the moment, he's generating nine manpower. And so we have the smuggler player, Logic, who's just taking the middle and now he has the option to attack whoever he wants. Sis, what do you think is gonna happen here with smuggler sitting in the oh. middle? With four yeah, one regarding Sp 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 Spielberg, Spielberg definitely very experienced, very good player, uh, but mostly from the mid game and late game because he playing very stable. He understands what's going on. He always using opportunities. Like uh, so, actually, for me, it's not surprised that he have so much wins in last games. But Spielberg always had one problem. He had very greedy early game uh he always running like with uh, 15, he went emperor's 20, eyes did you see his tech tree right there he he went emperor's eyes and he has native customs on the right so he invested into four blue and four blue four green and four blue techs before getting anything else he is getting uh some red tech from his alliance with Vern. yes though he has 45 cp cap here that's a good uh, point dude vernie has yeah. been in the lobby yeah. <laughs> It changes so, things So around. this is kind of allowing, yeah, it's kind of allowing him to. Is he know, eventually, a he's, eventually, he's going to need to get to get into that tree if he wants to keep it when he's in conflict with Bernius. But, but yeah, for right now, I mean, he's getting the benefit of he'll, 55 CP now. He, he needs manpower production. No matter how much CP he can have, true, without with true. nine power, it will will not help. And actually, as far as we know, Logic is very aggressive, can play very aggressive. Usually he's trying to kill someone. And uh, when he uh, took Polar Sync, uh, look at the Logic screen, he yeah. always constantly checking what's going on with Karina. Like right. every 10 seconds, he's watching what's going on with Karina. So I smell blood. I'm pretty sure that Logic will try to eliminate Spielberg pretty early. 
this would be uh, definitely something that the fans would love to see, right? We love to see this kind of because we, you know, it's all fun and games when everybody's sitting around SimCity and we have some nice engagements mid and late game. But it's really fun and exciting when things get hot, heavy, and fast in the early game. And now Logic has pushed himself up to 63 CP, boys. 63 CP. Uh, also, <laughs> What's yeah. gonna happen here? Oh my God. Also, he also put uh, two agents on uh, Lansrat, so it uh, defense breaches. Him have, uh, yes, yes. No, uh, I believe so. I mean, it definitely. I mean, that's why he did it. I believe so. Yeah. Very oh, good man. question. Will anyone help Spielberg in this situation? Because uh, logic plans can uh, be ruined. I'm not. For example, uh, I'm not. will decide. Uh, I don't think so. Let me tell you why too, because. I mean, Ecaz wants to expand. Not, uh, yeah. So does and so does so, so does Verdius, right? And and so and they don't care if he dies. And then for Logic, you know, he's been known to kill somebody early and then pivot into a governor rush because that's one less person he has to outvote. So everybody might be thinking it might be better if Carino just dies here if he does attack him. So Spielberg now has, he's looking at, he's over looking over Spielberg's screen. He has an ornithopter flying over his main base. He sees how many units he has. And now Logic's yeah. marching the army over there. Well, this, this is exciting. I, I really hope we get to see uh, some, yeah. how, how Spielberg reacts to early pressure because we haven't seen him tested like that. You know, we haven't seen him, really play a lobby where somebody really understands yo dude we understand you play greedy and we understand that you win a lot but can you hold can you hold a candle to somebody who's going to test you early and make sure that you don't get away with this kind of play style every single time i'm excited to see this i hope it happens i hope you guys are feeling the buzz just as much as i am about this right now and with what Ika has just said here, I'm interested to see with him seeing this. I'm thinking about if it's me, maybe trying to take the pole off of off of Smug, whether it's a liberation or a capture. But I don't necessarily love him being extended out there playing his, his kind of meta special special head strat here. Here goes. Look, here we go. Boys. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Logan. Yeah, Logan is approaching. Close to main base. Yeah. It will not uh, be easy to push uh, Carino in this case. I, but he can focus. Uh, the spice field on the right. The spice field on the right. Yeah, the spice field on the right is uh, is. And Logic uh, sees it. Logic sees it. I'm 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 on lo I'm on uh sorry I'm on the uh, I'm on the uh, Carino screen right now. So he's kind of looking around. Uh, I don't see him building any manpower buildings at the moment. I could have no, missed it. No, yeah, without manpower, he's done. I mean, I, I do not see the way to defend against this, but we'll see, but we'll see. This is very good cover for Logek. He, Carino might just think, Silver might just think he's just doing his pillage, his pillage cycle. But uh, it's definitely uh, makes... There's an airfield being built now at the top of the polar sink. I don't know, boys. It's smelling like early aggression. It's definitely smelling like early aggression to me. Yeah, but I'm I'm a little bit uh, afraid that uh, his alliance, I mean Spielberg's alliance with uh, Vernus, gonna give him a lot of benefits because imagine if he uh, didn't have truth, he has uh, four slots to rebuild his army, and he yeah he doesn't have enough manpower, but he definitely can build it while uh, Smack attacks and. Uh, do all his dirty stuff, so it's gonna be definitely not so easy. But let's see. Okay, so Logic now pillaging right Does outside he have the, the smuggler base. For this? Is he pillaging this, or is he gonna? He, take no, it? He's, I mean, no, he's capping. Okay, he's taking it. Yeah, this is interesting. He's setting up. He's setting also, up. Also, now this is yeah. This is like red alert for Spielberg. This also, it's. If the question is, will Spielberg survive till the moment when he probably can play second base? Right now, he has not the best eco, but probably he still can somehow farm salary for three thousands, and he has enough authority. So he's only got maybe 20 Spielberg... CP out, dude. He's only got twenty right now. He's got he's generating a lot of salary though. And here goes Logic. Logic's moving in. Okay, Chus is broken with Carino. 
Carino now forced to react. Logic army low on water. He sees that the main base is right there. He's gonna drop a supply drop in the spice field. And he's gonna go to work on Logic's on a, on Spielberg's spice. Okay, so we have a confirmation of early aggression. There goes the supply drop for smugglers. Now smugglers moving in the spice field. His priority is gonna be to take out the spice harvester immediately and either pillage or liberate this village. Going to work on Carino right now. Now Carino is really being tested. Spielberg can only sit in his main base. Okay, he's sitting in his main base. He's turtling up underneath the main base turret, which is which is a significant defense. It's not going to be easy for Logic to break. Just because Logic has all this CP doesn't mean anything. Now Spielberg going for a counterattack. Uh, Sp Spielberg going for a counterattack on the Observatory Mountain. Logic sees that. Logic can leave one unit there to liberate. Now he's going to go defend. Now Spielberg pulling back. He sees Logic is ready to pull back. He's not going to take the time to kill the Spice Harvester. He's just going to let the village liberate. And th and now Spielberg placing missile turrets. Now Spielberg going into bunker mode. He has a military base there already. So he was kind of smelling this out. He has a military base there already. Now Logic going in to work on that right village of the main base. He's probably going to pillage it just so the missile turret doesn't go off if there is one there. He's not pillaging. He's pulling back. He sees the Spielberg's done a good job of bunkering. He leaves one unit on the right base. He's pillaging that base, and now he's going to try to pillage this base as well, perhaps after killing the, uh, after killing the Carino army. One Carino unit goes down. The main base turret is doing... He's Look at the brilliance of Logic. He sent one free company to tank the main base turret right there so that the, RN units, the, the other units are not getting splash damage from that base. And now the Carino army's melting, obviously, because superior supplies for Logic. This was a brilliant play this is a master class on how you avoid the main base damage now look at the micro the free company move, moves back because yeah, he's getting low he's... and the carino army's melting and now spielberg's spielberg's in trouble spielberg's in trouble here now what's he gonna do with, now the snipers move in and they're gonna target the rest of that carino army he has he has uh he has some manpower bank but he doesn't have a lot of manpower production spielberg doesn't so I'm looking at Spielberg's screen. He's got 193 manpower bank, so he can he can rebuild. Now Logic pillaging that base smartly because the missile turret's there. Spielberg bringing out an assassin. Spielberg with a great play with the assassin right here. He's gonna take down that guy. He, no, that guy survives. No. Logic saw it somehow. Okay, the pillage is stopped. The pillage is stopped. The the some damage has been done to Carino though. He does lose the spice field here. Logic did use, lose a lot of... Now, now, the problem with Smuggler Vahotal is that you don't have a lot of regions, which means you don't have a lot of recruitment offices. You know what I mean? So it's not so easy after Logic lost some of that CP to rebuild that either. Am I right in saying that? Uh, you still can, can have uh, like 40 per day. It's not a problem at all. And, You're right. He, uh, doesn't, he doesn't have a lot banked, but if he doesn't get clean wiped here, he's, he's going to be able to reinforce couple units at a time as this goes on especially because right. he has this this base setup he can just cycle units in and out heal them keep yeah keep carino from getting too much cp up and and pretty much indefinitely kind of hold carino here until he now, gets his second base down and now i wonder what the other lobby is doing i'm looking at fizz fizz has a super long node relay network so he's he's pretty much built out vernius amazingly he's got four spice harvesters he's got 65 cp mostly of subvoid soldiers so that army is super squishy. It's definitely an early game army. He's going to be looking to sub those out into mech units. He's doing great on economy with four, four spice harvesters. He's got 4,000 Solari banks, so he could at least remake his army if he needs to. Um, going over to Lockji, our ECAS player. I think he's Lockji's only sitting on 40, C, 40 CP. He's got the White Rift to his north, which I think is great news that Carino is getting pressed here because Carino is definitely going to want the White Rift. Like if I'm a Carino player, I'm going for the White Rift because I know that's the key to make so much hegemony passively. The first charter is up. It's Water Cellar Union. I, I believe that it's 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 a big uh, mistake by oh, by Smack because uh, right now Carino can spend uh, everything he has for uh, this vote and be able to put second base. True. So. Yeah, he definitely. He he's also almost uh, able to do it, but with uh, charter, it it's just gonna make uh, smuggler's life much harder, I believe. But we'll see. Okay, Logan. What also wait. can happen that Spielberg can place his second base next to the smuggler main. <laughs> Why well, he can? And, and then, then we will have a half game <laughs> conflict. This will be interesting. Uh, I, well, I, it won't help, like, 
How? How? He he doesn't have army to deal with the uh, main base. So he, he's just gonna stay there for forever and won't do a shit. So okay, here we go. So the smuggler army is moving in. His goal is gonna be to pillage this base right here. No, he doesn't care. Okay, yes, he does. He's gonna pillage this base real quick. He's got Drisk tanking. He's got tanking. He's tanking the main base with his hero. And still no defense breaches for for Logik. Okay, he's he building does, he the defense, defense sabotage, sabotage though. He does have the defense <laughs> sabotage. His goal here is to pillage this village to make that missile turret inoperable. He's not doing it. He forgot to send a unit to attack. Uh, maybe he wants to. So he just got rid of the militia there. Wow, look at that tree, dude. He's all blue. So he definitely wants to pivot to Gov. You saw it. You just look at the tree. He's pivoting to Gov after this. He's pillaging another one of his regions. Okay. And yeah, Spielberg this, under this... major pressure. That's the that's the way uh, logic plays play play his smacks. You you remove a target, so and uh, you can much easier to pivot into go governor because you have tremendous amount of influence income as smack and it's much it's much easier to outvote two guys. That that main base turret. I think Spielberg's gonna hold here. I think he's definitely been hampered. And now look at Vernius creeping on the right side. And Ekaz creeping on the left. This this has devastated Spielberg's early game plans. All the other factions are taking advantage of this. And not in the way that you would think. They're not helping the Carino player. They're actually hampering him from expanding. So now Spielberg's options are what? Drop a second base, a bunker, somewhere close to the other base. And bunker down and try to fight his way out. Or he can main base, drop somebody early. And uh, so we don't know exactly how he's going to do. Problem is that time uh, works against the logic. And uh, I am I would be a little bit afraid uh, once I see Avernus with Note uh, reaching my territory because it makes his uh, assassinate much easier. Because, uh, right. you, you, yeah, you can have one more uh, self uh, in in cell, if you if you are close to the enemy village with uh, your village which has node, so uh, and also I believe that the why why logic tries to fight militia and don't touch uh, missile battery it because uh, he like he's, he's going in again here he's going in again. Is it, and Spielberg has six CP up with nothing being recruited, and his yeah his manpower is the limiter here. He's I mean he's got sixty eight, yeah, and he spent everything on militia. So yeah. that's the problem. But, now, which Logan, I mean Logan, honestly, Logan, it's Logan, now it's, Logan, it's Logan, working Logan. a little bit for him here if he keeps replenishing hit the militia. It, hit it, explosives right there. go off. Hit it, but his units are so squishy. They're so squishy. The 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 drones are going in to tank the main base damage. That one lone conscript is going to die. He's dead. Okay. Two already drones coming up here. And now the drone is... And, and so the hidden explosives did go down. Logic now trying to replace his army. Um, I do have a question for the Vernius players in here. Dude, Fizz is almost at 60 knowledge. This is like immaculate. Immaculate Vernius play. What are we... How does he... He's at 63 knowledge. How does he get it so high? Logic That's insane. Has the defense breach, uh, completing now. Now Fizz is knocking on the main. He's he's right outside of Logic's main, but I don't think he's gonna do anything to Logic here. I think he's gonna let Carino die. <laughs> Pro problem with Logic that he also ran out of manpower. Yep. Yep. And I, I... And I think his Logic shouldn't insist on uh, Carino base right now, because uh, Vernus and Ekas grew. Uh, his first attack on Spicefield was really great because he crippled a lot um, Corino, but right now you see uh, his village are close to main base. If he continued to attack his main base, it cost him a lot of manpower and time. And I think if he insists too much, it can become a lose-lose situation uh, for uh, both of them, in my opinion. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But I think this is a situ situation where there's no way back. Like... Logic invested so much in this. He already took special near the Karina base, so he'll probably try to eliminate Karina in any case. And, and he can he can reinforce directly now too. He just has the rally point there. Okay, there he goes. He sets the rally point, and now 
he can reinforce directly. And the hidden explosives went off, so that base has no armor. Yeah, and, and he has the defense breaches ready to go. He's just probably waiting to get some more CP up to, uh, to yeah, make it worth it. Fizz, by the way, is showing a masterclass on Fernius. I mean, he's burning through his tech tree. He's he's patented everything that he, like it's amazing actually to have 60 knowledge, and he's putting infiltration cells on smugglers as we speak. <laughs> so don't, don't think just because Logic eliminates him, he's gonna be able to get his little governor play. Although a smuggler, they don't have too many territories, so you could probably drop some. Uh, Lockji, the ECAS player, 52 CP. He's got one, two, three sanctuaries. He's got. He's probably gonna cap the White Rift there. He's at 10.3k hedge. Logic, Fizz is probably the hedge leader right now. Logic is on is on 13k. And Fizz is on 9.6k, so actually Logic is the leader. Fizz, no special regions. He has a lot of territory, but not a lot of special regions. Logic now healing up his units, and the, and the artillery drones, this is where the artillery drones are going to be tough for him to deal with. They can use that main base turret as the shield that they need to rain down bullets on the smuggler army, which is quite squishy. And we have our next charter coming up. Our next charter is Eye of the Council. Uh, we have Smuggler with our first charter, Water Cellar Union. Um... So, interesting early game. This is exactly what we wanted, and we got it, boys. Got action. I'm stepping away from the screen for a second. Let, over let me know like who won the charter. Yeah. Uh, hasn't finished yet. Uh, Loki's going to be capturing that. Was that Moon Blue Veil back there? That Sanctuary special he had in his back, rank, back line? Okay, Logic now trying to heal those units up. Those artillery drones are doing damage. Vernius on the border of the smuggler player now on the southeast side. That's dangerous. He's putting cells on the smuggler player. That artillery drone is getting hunted down. That'll be a big kill. Each one of those is like amazing to kill. That first artillery drone goes down. Logic doing amazing, by the way. He's not even selling spice. He's still positive Solari, which means in between all this time, he's found a way to put underground headquarters on his players. This is amazing, like uh, macro gameplay from the smuggler player here. To be able to do that while doing an attack. While microwing is just definitely not easy. Another artillery. Yeah, it looks like, was that an accident when he aggroed the militia there? That 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 ended up pretty devastating for Logek there. It had to be because that's that's something they need to fix. The units should not attack the village unless they're told to, because that will trigger the militia and that becomes a bad scenario. Logik is out of manpower. I think this attack is going to fail here, but he did a good job of crippling Spielberg. He's out of manpower. And that's what I was saying, Valhotel. You only have so many regions. Unless you get a youthful eagerness tile, how do you generate all that man all that manpower? You can't. You can only build for, one uh, in for each a office. Smuggler, uh, you don't have a lot of options. There is only village. On the second one, you have an option to build uh, in a UHQ. A building will give you a percentage uh, manpower production bonus. You can do that if you are very aggressive, like in this situation, but... Other than that, there is no many option for Smuggler. Right. Right. And he definitely not building that UHQ because he's making Solari. So there's no way he was building the manpower UHQs. All right, guys. So this attack is probably going to be thwarted here. Um, we have Fizz taking the Imperial Basin, sitting on 63 knowledge. This is just unbelievable. Uh, this is one of the highest knowledge numbers I've ever seen. On, on, he's really figured out how to uh, maximize the Vernius node and the uh, the uh, the knowledge production. And, and I've been watching Lockjaw over there, and he it seems like every tech almost he's having to pay five hundred on, on a patent that, that already. Yeah, I just saw his tech tree for a bit, and yeah. I saw him I, two techs that he needed. That's five hundred for Fizz just because he raced them and. And patented all this stuff in the tree. 
p.m. Sagas. Vernius has six spice fields. He has six spice fields, boys. 25 viewers, if you guys have any questions to the panel here about any of these four factions, please ask. We want to help players get better at this game, educate people. It's a tough game to play, but it's a beautiful game. Vernius Chome, question mark, unlikely because he's going to have to bank all that Solari so he can rebuild his army should he have to lose it because it's a pure Solari-based army. The late-game army for Vernius is very expensive. Fish, Fizz pushing 81 knowledge with that operation. These are some all-time numbers here. Have you has have you guys seen numbers this high? I have not. I will say I'm surprised to see that Vernius of all factions has the has the strongest economy cooking right now. Uh, well, he's got six. Count him. Six spice harvesters going. Yeah. Six. It's unbelievable. Logic doing the Lord's work by preventing Spielberg, the Carino player, from expanding. Logic still sitting on his border, and now the Carino player is happy with the artillery drones. I mean, this. So Logic, I think, is okay here to forfeit that territory eventually, and then maybe try to capture uh, a different kind of special off of one of the other players because that that territory is awfully close to the to the uh, Carino main base, and now at this point, I think it's safe to say this that unfortunately Logic's attack has failed. Hey, um, Smalo is almost eligible for governorship already. He is, and he just Did he just put that? a he priority has... on Judge of the Council, it appears. He has that over 50. So how is he doing this, Vahotal? Is he building that plus one lands rad uh, extension yeah, 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 yeah. in every Everywhere single village? Plus, uh, he went for an early uh, chair three uh, blue tech uh, will give you plus uh, 50. Uh, land strat per uh, spice tax. So eventually, when you add every, uh, all these bodies, you can uh, get a lot of, uh, I mean, probably 30 uh, land strat per, um, per, uh, per, uh, land, per council. Plus, uh, yeah, 40 max, I mean, if you have a uh, uh, truce with everyone. So, yeah, you can definitely, uh, you can definitely. Uh, be uh, eligible uh, very quickly, uh, uh, Smuggler. Also, the Smuggler... Is, be, be... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I continue. Yeah, yeah uh, the Smuggler building race right now, so maybe it will help uh, to tank the main base and probably uh, will I, make plan uh, to continue uh, the siege. I think that the siege is over. Uh, Spielberg the, now, yeah. he's sitting on three artillery drones, he's got a bunch of conscripts, two hirelings, and those miss those uh, those two villages around the main base are no longer probably pillaged, so those missile turrets are active. I think Logic is, I think the damage has been done. I mean, you, even Fizz is harvesting off of the uh, Carino natural expansion, and look at Ikaz. Ikaz is on the top left, so Carino is completely, his only option is to base drop and try to kill Smuggler. At this point, if I'm Spielberg, and I said, hey dude, you did this to me, you ruined my early game, fine, I'll drop your yeah. main base, and I'm, yeah. just, and I'm gonna sit there with my artillery drones and peg in your main base, and you figure out how to deal with it, man. And so, uh, this, is, this is probably gonna be a stalemate here, Zis. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Those artillery drones are just making it impossible for for Logok to keep to keep his airfield and and whatever else he wants up in this village. Yep. So that that's done. Now we have to now we have to go back to a macro view of this game and uh, let's see where all the players stand at the moment. Our next judge of the council vote, smuggler player with the most authority, I mean the most influence. Logok asking for help. From the ECAS player. <laughs> so. He said next to your territory in the north. I mean, this will be terrible, man, for Spielberg. If he starts having to do with a 2v1 here, then it's going to be tough. So Smuggler like offers Logic, the bounty. Logic can be able to win Judge of the Council. He's going to have two charters. Right. He's eligible I mean, for Spielberg. Yeah, only Carino is making uh, the most uh, the most influence uh, after smugglers. So loss of rights is yeah, up though, yeah. and the vote and loss of rights is supported by randomness, but smuggler gets judged. <clears throat> also, I saw in the chat that Fizz communicated with Ikos, and he said that he's planning to start assassination soon. And I guess the target will be Smuggler, because I see infiltration cells on Smuggler. Yep. 
And uh, L three company, the the drones don't see them. Look at the dead drone. But maybe the the perfect play for peace here is to help Logic to eliminate Carino and then assassinate Smuggler. But probably Echoes will be faster and faster okay. than this is an interesting play. The Logic, the the smuggler player has baited the entire Karina army into his yeah. territory, and they cannot retreat because there's a decoy thumper going off. So in all likelihood, this Karina army is dead. This is a mistake from Smuggler, I think. I... He still has the two drones. I still think Spielberg, it doesn't matter. Even if he loses this entire army, which he does, which is a great play by Logic, by the way. That was a great play. Uh, it's just unfortunate that he can't really press in there. That that region is too well fortified now, and so uh, now Logic's going to have to pivot here. He's definitely going to have to pivot as uh, Fizz now has nodes everywhere. Fizz with 63 knowledge. Holy Toledo. 63. Angolero, have you seen a number this high? Uh, yes, but it's still uh, like surprisingly good. And uh, I'm just a little bit sad that uh, Logic feels like he committed so much emotionally more than... Uh, he got than... style point, at least. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be I a mean, problem. the biggest stuff. problem that uh, with such kind of lobby, it's definitely not so easy to benefit even from killing Corina. Okay, I mean, even if he do so, and uh, then Ikas has like tons of uh, free territory, then um, Fizz just Fizz just already prepared his. Uh, Evil plan, yeah, of assassinating Smack once he finishes Karina, and uh, it just looks like a not 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 the best option to continue. I don't know, like maybe he should pivot into classic uh, hack play, and uh, I don't know. It's it's funny, but it's like we see a kind of stagnation, you know. He doesn't go forward and he can't go back and he just stay at the same spot. But Ikas and uh, Vernes benefits from it so them so a lot. So it makes me a little bit sad. All right. So the wraith has arrived. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna give it at least one more shot with the wraith and and Let's I wonder see. if Lockji is gonna take him up on his offer to. So Logic has a nice barrier from the Ikas player on the southeast side because the desolation is there. So that's good. The White Rift has become a sanctuary. Okay, and Lockji, the other half of Lockji's army is sitting on Carino's northern border. So Spielberg is like in a in a box. So he is uh yeah. I think he was the right target early game. He was definitely the weakest player early game. Right? And meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, Vernon started assassination on uh, Smack. Not sure what Logic's yeah, trying here. Logic does not have a supply drop here either, so running the deep could have implications. Yeah, does I'm have plenty sure. of water. I mean, he doesn't have extraction either. Extraction network either. So, these units are committed no. now, and so here comes the Wraith. The Wraith is a pretty it's like a glass cannon i mean it doesn't even do a lot of damage so you can't even call it a glass cannon it is tanking but it's gonna die pretty fast that's half more than half its health is gone now three quarters of its health is gone but the majority of the carino army is dead now logic's gonna and try he to still probably... has a breaches here oh man and this there it goes he drops the defense breaches holy crap he's Absolutely. so committed and Wraith he is going to go down. Also has 300 manpower. He will easily replace his army right now, even if he loses. So I think uh, he uh, will finish his job. To put the second main base. Yeah. <laughs> Supply drop is ready. Right now on the 
Yeah, I think Spielberg on the huge stress right now, and he did not Spielberg's realize dead. he can place his second Spielberg's dead, that. dude. Spielberg's actually dead. This so he succeeds, and now unbelievable, great, great play by uh, Logic. Oh my goodness, what a player! And ah, uh, no, 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 Spielberg he got the second base out. Just yeah, just <laughs> just, in like, just in time. Just in time. <laughs> well, amazing. Amazing. Kudos to Spielberg for staying in. Look at all the missile turrets ever. Logic, by the way, you guys have to study this, okay? When you study this, you can appreciate the brilliance. He understood where the gap was in between all of the missile turrets, okay? So that's why he yeah. ran his army south through the deep desert and avoided where all the missile turrets were stacked. And now the Vernius assassination oh, no. attempt has been attempted. This, the timing is spectacular. It's like, okay, great. You have you have taken out one of the Carino main bases for me. You've done your job. Now I'm gonna kill you and get out of the game. So Fizz, yeah. <laughs> Fizz, <of> this <laughs> game. <laughs> but, 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 but what Fizz do not realize that Smack has so not no not many regions. He can just drop Actually, the Smack regions. Can, yeah, he can just drop everything because right now he understands that he can't uh, finish Carino. He did right. what he could. He destroyed he one plenty. base. Right now he does not. Yeah, so he do not need this these regions anymore. He not do not need polar anymore. So actually, he he can just drop everything, okay, and so it will have... cost him like not many authority to cap these regions back, multiply. Speaker of the Council is a, by the way, Ekaz not doing a great job of generating influence, which is generally one of the strengths of Ekaz here. So Lockji maybe needs to go a little bit in the lab here. He definitely. I mean. Even he should have way I mean, more Fizz, influence. Fizz is trying to kill Smug, but yeah, Ekaz is going to be the the primary faction to contest all this influence from from uh, Logan. But he, he needs to get on that now. Okay, so one, he just sent a assassin to the Observatory Mountain, which is right outside the Carino territories. So there's a cell there. Uh, I can't see any of the other cells on his screen, and Fizz is letting him know that the assassination is in progress. So he's having a direct communication with the player on the opposite side of the map. He's sending in his second assassin to Observatory Mount to refresh the timer. And uh... <laughs> but, but, but I think he he missed click or something. I think he wrote it to Logic. <laughs> well, Logic already knows because he's, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe he was maybe he was talking smack a little bit. Just let he's him like, know. He's like, hey, I'm just letting you know I'm assassinating you. All right. The assassination is in progress. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. Logan can easily drop Observatory Mountain and be fine. By the way, he doesn't. That, that territory is like a bonus for him, right? He already dropped. He dropped Well of Riches. Logan preemptively dropping regions, and now the 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 Vernius army is flying around the map. It's going to the south. Another assassin is going into Observatory Mountain. How is Logan not realizing that there's a cell on Observatory Mountain? He's doing a, another cell search. I don't really don't understand why he decided to why why he tries to save this region so hard. Yeah, I, mean, I would have uh, saved Well of Riches, oh. right? Because it's much easier to defend. Fine. Then, yeah, he dropped. There it goes. There goes the abandoned. Okay, so he's safe. He's absolutely uh, safe now. No. No, we'll see. He I think there's still played. two agents. Two agents on it. First of all, there is two agents, and uh, second, uh, I mean, if as as Vernus, you can sustain assassination for a really 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 unreal okay he got he time. got the other he got the other cell it appears with that abandoned close to his main base yeah um, i mean no it, no, even no, if, no cells uh, anymore no so yeah even so if uh, smuggler sp survive i mean uh, fizz managed to liberate free village without yep. attacking and uh, he exactly has a lot right. of money a lot of intel he can do that again and again and uh, that's why i i see, I, I mean uh, in this case, Fizz did a lot of damage, and it didn't cost him uh, manpower, uh, uh, a low amount of time, and only a few Suraris for him. Meanwhile, uh, smuggler uh, smuggler attack cost him. Uh, I mean, I think the game it cost him the game. Okay, so smuggler can recover those regions. Okay, let's let's be real here. Those he can definitely recover the well of riches, and and I think. He can try to recover the uh, Mount Idaho, but that one's going to be tough. Now that Ekaz is spread all over the mess. So Smuggler's taking a fuel cell region over there. 
and he's still floating 450 authority here so right yeah so it's really strange but but somehow Ikas missed his spy stocks i don't know how because i think uh, oh no do not i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure Lockji is a uh, smuggler main so this is definitely not his first choice uh yeah sure for sure yeah Logic on 11.5k. Fizz. Fizz is on 14. 14.1. 14 uh, Spielberg is on 12.4. And Lockji is on 14.6. So Lockji's our hedge leader. You know, after all of that, if we're just looking at the hedge numbers, it's anybody's game. And Lockheed's still sitting on White Rift up there. It looks like he's it's a sanctuary still, but he has that in the back pocket. But I, I do think some damage has been done to Smuggler and some damage has definitely been done to Carino. Without and a so, doubt. I mean, this is a dream for Fizz, right? Right. And for Ekaz. I mean, Ekaz, he's got... Yeah, he's, he's, he's in a good spot. Thanks to the damage done to both Logic and to Spielberg. The game has definitely slowed down a little bit here. Fizz is probably going to be trying another assassination attempt. We don't know what's going on in Chome, but I'll tell you who hasn't been buying Chome. It definitely hasn't been the Carino player, who normally is buying Chome. <laughs> What do you guys think is going to happen here? How, how, where do we go from here? Honestly, well, I mean, Fizz and Carino are making deals over here with treaties. I mean, uh, yeah, this is going to get this going to get interesting for a little guy here. So they can still manage governorship, but uh, it's unlikely as as long as uh, three all players are alive, it will be hard for uh, for a logic to outvote everyone. Man, that was exciting for a minute. What were we gonna say, Angelero? Uh, I forgot my thought. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, was so logic was, uh, was quite unlucky with the map again because uh, I mean, even if he kill Karina, he is sandwiched between Ikas, who spreads really far, and uh, okay, okay, he is uh, kind of protected by. Um, Deep desert and desolation, but still he need to protect somehow middle and like everyone can reach middle. And if you, if you're not sandwiched, you still can go in, in any other direction except mid. But now I'm just trying to figure out if I was on the on the logic place, what what would I do in this I, situation? I, I'll tell you what. I, I think his idea was uh, okay. I, if I if I manage to kill Carino. Uh, Maybe so that uh, AK has not produce a lot of influence. Uh, not know anymore. He has already 260. But By the way, I, I don't know if you saw because the because vote I right there. Carino and I can uh, uh, 2v1 uh, governorship. I yeah. think it was his ID. Yeah, and so he was denied Speaker of the Council. He's probably going to be denied it again here because the other the other three guys that have the votes cumulatively to be to able to beat yeah, him absolutely no reason to let that get through for him eligible for government. he doesn't have he doesn't have the money for a bounty either so he's gonna he's gonna chance it he's gonna vote himself in and see if he gets it uh okay so you guys does put everything into deny there And he's denied again by 300 votes. So the other the other thing that everybody is kind of maybe sleeping on right now is that the passive hedge game, the passive hedge game might not even happen this game. And that's because Vernius can obfuscate the Craft Workshop's text. Have you guys been in a situation where Vernius obfuscates the Craft Workshop tech yet in I a game? 
I have, and the game slows down drastically towards the end when you get to the 27, 28k hedge range. It's, uh, you know, everyone's waiting on authority. Everyone's fighting over specials that they need and trying to beat timers and stuff. But yeah, it's it definitely makes it a little more complex. Yeah, and I, I like to suffer from uh, obfuscating trinkets when I play Harkonnen player, you know? Yes. Just to so, make him so suffer, so Karina you know. attacking Smuggler, and Ikus will help him. So Empire strikes back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Logan comes in to defend. I think he's going to try to take out one of these armies first. I think the Ikaz army is going to be his first target. Yeah, because... <laughs> Pay he attention to the out. arrangement of the troops, by the way. Snipers in the back, uh, the drones in the front, all cloaked, and here they come. And so now the snipers are free reigning from the back. Perfect mm -hmm. execution from Logak here. The question is, is it enough? Because the Ikaz army is a monster in this and patch. And reinforcements coming, and Monument here is going to be big. Uh, they, it looks uh, like Sp oh, Spielberg is coming in for the back line. Yeah. A little bit of revenge for earlier. Yep, this is Spielberg. I can just see him just grinning and smirking while he does this. Logic now stuck, <laughs> yeah. and Logic is going to lose the middle. Logic is really, really. This is the problem. If you commit to that early game rush and it doesn't succeed, and then you can't pivot to your plan B, which in this case was going to be a pivot to Governor. Now he's going to be in a. Now he has to play smuggler like a regular faction. He has to like take regular territories now, so he has nowhere to go, nowhere to run. And he's getting liberated here. They could, oh, if they wipe him, uh, he'll be able to stop it. But yeah, he lost hero. He lost a lot of stuff. Yeah. Man, they're chasing him I... all the way in here too. <laughs> I feel this pain <laughs> so much. Oh man. no! I always can't. Bill will, will, will go to, to, to the end. So I <laughs> yes, no, they sure. might go for the Are they going to go for the main? Like they should, right? I mean, they could no. technically just kill him here no, if they no, want. No. Why not? They have the supply drop. Not gonna, he I don't, has I don't war banners they're... over there. He can tank with the war banners. True. True. <laughs> no, 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 no real chance to do it. Yeah. I mean, it's so sad to be on the position of Logic because, I mean, I still don't get why uh, Logic decide to help Spielberg and not to finish the the job or was started by Logic because it helps him even more. Uh, he quite true, easily true. can out out uh, out produce by inf uh, two players than three. And so I, I just don't get. I mean, okay, he he takes he takes middle now. Maybe that's the idea behind it. But yeah, you it know, looks like we have a nuke at development. I'm not sure who that was. You know, Angelero, what you say is a hundred percent true. Okay, if I'm the ECAS player and I see Carino with one base down and he's on his last limb. I'm thinking, A, I have the more authority than all you guys. I'm going to take all these regions. I'm thinking, B, I have more influence than all you guys. I'm going to outvote you in the land drive. Why not just kill him here? I agree with you 100%. Kill the Carino player. Get him out of the way. He's a useless body at this point. This might be a huge mistake for Lockji, by the way. Huge mistake. Now Fizz offers a truce to the smuggler player. <laughs> so I think Logic accepts. And uh, I actually have no idea from this point where the game is going to go, especially if Crafts Workshops gets obfuscated. I have no idea where this game is going to go now. And as you say that Lockheed does place a Crafts Workshop in Space Cruiser Rex, so he is going to be getting some passive. Yep, and, and Fizz, is Fizz is also placing his down. So he has 20 passive hedge. Logic is out of the passive yeah. hedge game, by the way. He has no specials right now. He can maybe reclaim the Well of Riches, and that'll be it. Uh, Pretty sure he's on. He's been on zero harvesters too since that assassination attempt. Not that he necessarily needs them, uh, right? With the Zico, but yeah. But now he's gonna. He doesn't yeah. care. He doesn't care about spice fields at all. Yep. So the Fizz army composition. He's got six, sub, seven subold soldiers, one railgun, a bunch of resonance drones, and three and, and two engineers and the uh, the the folder relay. So. I'm not sure if this is a fully transitioned army or if this is how Zis runs it. Uh, 
seems like it's a lot of sub olds, but you know, like he's obviously figured out this faction, like as far as the infrastructure goes, because to have that much knowledge is fantastic. I'm so angry. Yeah, it, 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 why. because you hate Spielberg. Don't be angry. No, because because I was on the position <laughs> of logic. I mean, I was I was in such kind of position when I played it versus you, and you in you was uh, Vernus, and I uh, committed to a, an attack versus uh, Horus Ra, and I forced him to play second base, and I just didn't get guys. Why you don't help me to remove fourth player, and we're gonna play a little bit much easier game for everyone it benefits for everyone yeah and and fizz is taking another special here by the poll i so that that his leaves passive is already no solved. I, he, he very well may just not even be thinking about obfuscating crafts workshops no he has, he no he's really going for it but he, he yeah. has he has is going to have more because i think he has is the white rift up north and he I'm does sure. yeah it's it's also an interesting game because we will have two kingmakers right now in this game we have smuggler who is in position of kingmaker maybe something will happen but right now it's like this and we have karina who also i think in position of king making so <laughs> it will be interesting way, uh, give one to each uh, other faction see what happens we have uh, three, yeah. three eligible uh, targets for uh, speaker of the council there is a bounty on it though who's gonna want the money Ek has going all mm. in on himself he has less votes than smug. I mean, they're really close. They have the same amount of votes, I guess. It's going to be up to the minor houses and whoever decides to take the money. Because if Ikaz is allowed to have it, he's not losing it. Right. And there's the vote. And okay. who, who oh, got it? Smug. Loga got it? Yep. Yeah. Loga yeah, got smug. it. Okay. Not a kingmaker anymore. <laughs> now here's a chance, right? And look at that. And there's the win banner. Uh, Vernius with a 4,000 hegemony lead. He's definitely not going to be obfuscating crafts workshops. And he's going to be at something like 36 passive a day after that, that last craft workshop build. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out between Ikaz and Vernius Hedgewise. With let's, check, let's check in on our half devastated Carino <laughs> player now on 65 CP. He's got a bunch of conscripts, four Sards, one artillery drone, and two incinerators. Uh, he's got he's got two spice fields to his name. That's good. He's got two spice fields, so you know uh, he can just go over there. You know, if I'm Karina, what are you thinking if you're Karina here, Angelera? What are you gonna do in this situation? Uh, first of all, I uh, whisper logic how a bad person he is and uh, how I like to meet uh, his. Uh, parents and all this uh, kind of stuff uh, after i'm done with that i, I okay the, the biggest question what uh, what um, main base buildings he lost because uh, we have uh, a bug right now yeah that uh, once your main base with uh, some uh, buildings are lost you can't rebuild them in another one so i think gonna... it was was monument one of those build, buildings and it's really important uh, yeah that's but, that's a major loss He's still he making away. ten passive though. Where is he getting that ten passive from? Yeah, is, I just can't get where where where. I, I don't think he lost the monument. I think he lost some other building. You know what I do if I'm Carino? Is this? What do you do if you're Carino here? Well, don't know. Just back sitting and hoping for the best that three players will kill each other, <laughs> and I will spike in the end somehow. You know what I'm doing here? I'm sending a truce out to smuggler. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, exactly. yeah. I'm sending a truce out to yeah. smuggler. I said, "Look, dude, we're last. We gotta work together here, right?" And then I'm trying to, I'm trying to steal the white rift away from Ekaz, and then I'm gonna three v one Vernius when he gets to like 23, 24. That's that's what I'm thinking in this situation. I'm, yeah, I'm that's waiting fun. to see what Spielberg has. Uh, he hasn't pulled up his main base uh, yet, but I want to see what he has in there right now. Yeah, we'd love to see it. Somebody's got a nuke too. That's gonna be funny. Uh, <laughs> He's been up there for a while Vernius. too. I mean, I'm... Vernius has nuke. Yeah. Nuke always a good and thing to have in the pocket deep. when you have a hedge lead. Okay, so it's uh, he has three red, and it looks like monument survived. He has monument two blue, and it looks like one red. Uh, for Spielberg. 
So what was that? Two red? Two it was three red. Three red, two blue, one red, and I believe Monument was one of the. With the Monument, blue. okay, you don't really need Eco Techs on Karina. Look I, I could be wrong though. Making. I got. I just got a quick. He, he's got so it, much spice that he can't even store anymore. So, you yeah. don't need really like Yellow Techs. I mean, ideally, you could get Admin Hall just because he's only making five authority. But, you know, yeah, he's got Fenring, so there's definitely POIs he can steal around the map Absolutely. to try to get some authority. But, I'm truce and smuggler here, dude. <laughs> Verdus should definitely assassinate Corino or Smuggler until the, uh, until the uh, 3v1 start because uh, I think he's the uh, next target right now. Yeah, good point. Obviously the lobby leader by far. Uh, is uh, that Mount Ico up there by, by Fizz where, where Logug was attacking uh, Carino from? That's going to be a big territory for him. Observatory you. Mountains open. Observatory Mountains, sorry, yeah. It's open. Fizz is saying... Is, Talking to Lock G, he said, we got to fight against the political people. Uh, he does, he's trying not to get 3v1 here. He's doing whatever he can to Diplo, but... Okay, he's got two. Re he's got three regions that he can use to cap, right? So that's 1,600. I mean, 1,800 heads right there. He, he has a lot of territories, so he'll probably get, like, what? Zis, how much is he going to get from the research centers? It's probably, like, 1,500, 2,000, something like that. No, more like 1,200 or something like that. Depends on the, on the amount of territory provides you hack. So, but yeah, it's definitely not more than two. And as it stands, he's just short of Ikaz on passive. Ikaz is at plus 45 and, and Fizz is at plus 40. I think they need to start working on, on Fizz here quickly. They need to start working on Fizz. And and the funny thing is, the minute they start working on Fizz, that's when Ekaz ideally caps the White Rift, caps a couple of Sanctuaries, and spikes up when he's at like 23, 24. Fight. Smuggler fighting Kikos. All right, let's tune in. Let's see what's going on. Okay, the Smuggler does have 65 CP back. It's all free company and snipers. And uh, are those free company? How does he spec them out? So he has he has stealth gear, and then yep. Eka is liberating sm uh, smuggler here, bringing in the monument. Okay, I I'm curious to see what it. Okay, so he doesn't have guns on this. Oh my god, those free company are smacking, dude! Holy crap! <laughs> well, it's strange to send knights without support. Because, yeah, I, because without really any units around, knights are pretty squishy. So Ekaz underestimating. Oh, he's he's gonna try to get that monument. He throws the EMP bomb in there, so he's gonna try to get that monument. That's gonna he's, be. He's, he's stealing. For, for he's stealing POIs it. everywhere. Logan is, and when you have underground headquarters, you can do that. So the monument is probably gonna die. The free company can't attack it because he's he doesn't have the mini guns equipped. And now the sniper. Well, this knight, risk. this poor knight. Can he get governorship? Oh, he just stayed focused. Okay. Muggler can, kinda. He, he he has 700 votes. Now he has to pull those snipers back. I yeah, think he's looking at the screen. Oh. He obstructs water regulation. No, he keeps water regulation. He obstructs gear regulation. And... I'd love to see the chom, the chom screen right now. I don't know. Does anybody know where roughly where it stands? I haven't seen it. No. Okay. It's clearly not. I think no. Factor. I think no one buys it. Yeah. Barely competent nurse asks, "How do you not?" I'm sorry. Uh, Cradwolf asks, how do you not 3v1 someone close to hedge or gov automatically? Sometimes, man, it's just hard to coordinate everything. Although, I'll tell you what, me and John Drama got a story. <laughs> we got a story about the, last most, night. the most amazing. You guys want to hear the story real quick? Yo, last night is me, John, Gray, and uh, Kenry. And uh, Gray 
we all go random, right? All four of us go random, and Gray pulls Ekaz, and he gets the Monument Counselor, right? So he starts spamming my, uh, he gets, he starts spamming masterpieces, masterpiece, masterpiece, masterpieces yeah. everywhere, and he 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 gets elected Gov at the end of month four. That's really early to get Gov, right? And Definitely, so. Yeah. We we kind of like realized like all right I'm like okay dude this guy did it to the T there's nothing we can do we might as well just start prepping our armies now so Kenry's on Carino Carino and he and he drew the counselor that gives you plus fifteen percent per truce military damage right so me and John who's were you a trades John John was a trades I was a trades yeah and I was on a uh, Hark and I so I had the undying executioners right so. Uh, so he's got the plus 30% damage on Carino. And so gray wins the, the, the month four gov and we coordinate the most beautiful three V one you have ever seen. So for the person who goes, how do you not three V one, someone close to head your governor automatically, you're supposed to, but it just becomes so hard to coordinate it, especially if everybody's not in discord. Luckily for us, we were all in discord. So I send over the executioners. They don't die. Dude, Gray's main base gets wiped. It was the most beautiful 3v1 anyone's ever seen in this game. I'll tell you that. Usually, like, as soon as somebody wins Gov, all the pushes fall apart. Like, you get there at different times. Yeah. Your, one of your armies gets sniped. A worm happens. Something bad happens. In this and case, I feel, it, it yeah. was awesome. <laughs> more, more often, a, a big issue I feel like oftentimes is you know one or two people will think that they have a chance at their own win con still and won't get on board with what needs to happen which is you know and if you do realistically have a chance that's what you should do is play for your own win con but when yes. it's clear that when it's clear that one player is going to win the game unless something is done to wipe them from the face of the map then uh then yeah you need to coordinate and, but he got it and, so that's, early. and that's just that's an understandable he, yeah, yeah. He, he got it so early that none of us had a win con to pursue so it was the only option cream, 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 exactly cream. yeah okay let's pivot cream, to the game you be, you, go ahead you will be you will be happy you, you will be happy uh spielberg and logic have communication in chats <laughs> probably <laughs> they will lie <laughs> This is what you got to do, man. You can't be emotional, right? Your your enemy from the beginning of the game becomes your best friend. Okay, Spielberg's army on the north side of the map. It looks like he's going to start attacking. He's going to start oh, working oh, on the oh, Bernie's oh. player Did you here. see Chom? Did you see Chom? Spielberg no. just opened the Chom, and Spielberg leading in Chom. He has something about 20% or maybe even more. Okay. Interesting. All right, so he's getting some Chom. I don't think he's going to be able to win on Chom here, to be honest. Um but, no, it'll be, it'll be, but it'll help his army. It'll help his army yeah. if he has the T4 tech. So Spearbrook's army on the north side of the map. Uh, he's kind of dancing around his main base. I'm not sure if he's thinking about attacking the Vernius player or not, who's now sitting on 24.8. <laughs> and this is the area where things get dangerous, right? Because you can spike three, 4,000 worth of hedge and then have your last tax payment hit, and then boom, you're over the finish line. So Fizz. Yeah, yeah. Watch he keeps trying this, this, this tactic to take this territory off Logag and I just. Oh yeah, I'm not sure why Lockji is still hard yeah, focusing sure the what... smuggler player. He should definitely be working on uh, trying to bring down. Now I like Lockji's position here, guys. I like it. Actually, actually, I do not uh, realize he's or not, but he can win by hegemony. With the spy stocks, look, he have three regions near his main base. It's two thousand one hundred hegemony. He will receive one thousand one hundred fifty hegemony from from spy stocks. It's already three hundred three thousand with something, and he rebuilding his research center. That right. gives him also about one thousand half or even, right. or maybe even two thousand hegemony. Right. So and he's sitting on six hundred. He he's sitting on six hundred thirty authority here, so he can definitely pull off a double triple cap. Definitely, and he sure. have plus 52 passive hegemony. So, like, in 10 days, he also received 500 hegemony from passive. So he's yeah, talking, he's about, he's talking about Fizz, so, but Fizz doesn't have the authority to capture those three regions, unfortunately. Oh, he, oh, oh, I thought we He only has about 300, and I think each one of those villages is going to be, like, 100 would change. It'd probably be, like, 120, 130 really? each. So he needs just a little bit more and authority. Yet, here comes, okay, and a little bit here more. comes Spielberg on the north side of the map. He realizes yeah. what's, what time it is. And so Fizz is going to have to defend here. We think Spielberg's going to attack. Okay, now Fizz is dropping an operation. We don't. I don't know which one yet. I want to see how these armies stack up against each other. Fizz is flying in. 
Spearbrook's going in for the attack. Now, Fizz has a lot of resonance drones. I want to see how this works. I want to see how this but works. But Spielberg will not take this visions anyways uh, because Fizz has nuke. Yeah, so he will nuke definitely. Fizz yeah. flies like in on the back game. line. Fizz flies in the back line, pins the snipers. One sniper goes down instantly. Subbled soldiers in the front line. Those resonance drones, oh my goodness. The flight engineers are doing work. Some of the sub soldiers go down. All the mechs are still alive, by the way. He hasn't lost a single mech yet. He's close to lose Hero. Looks army's doing good, though. Like, they're, they're, they're staying up. And those incinerators in the back, I'm assuming he has the upgrade on him to do extra damage to the mech troopers. And now Fizz is trying to move some soldiers around. Those railgun drones, the problem with the railgun drones is that the closer they are to the target, the less damage they do. And there was not enough fighting mechs in there, and there was too many of those sub old soldiers who were squishy, and they get burn damage. So the Karina army is going to prevail. The Karina army is going to prevail here. And it, it looks like it he's still going matter. back for more sub here. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah Hinuken. They're... Hinuken. Yeah, Hinuken. Nice. And now he just needs to take three regions near his main base, and that's a game. That's a game, I'm telling you. I believe it. But I, believe I don't know. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I know the... But, 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 stop, stop. I do not see that he received hegemony from research center. Seems like he rebuilt not a research center. It was something Maybe... else. Maybe. Yeah, something it was something else. else. He definitely need to start. He, de he definitely he need to start to rebuild it. this. And... He, he might already have oh. it. Oh. Whoa, I just then saw it's a problem. Sec yeah, I just got a quick glimpse. But I couldn't see what, what buildings neither could there. I. There was one, there was one resonance drone. There was one railgun drone in there. Uh, symbol. He does have research center built right now. So he can't. Yeah, he he's not spiking anytime soon here. I mean, he, oh. he'll still get. You'll still get a big. You know, a big pop from a double capture. Yeah, but look, here. look, look. You can also take one special. Oh, that might. Oh, the is that the uh, up by Observe, Carino there? Um, yeah. And governor's up, and Logic with easily the most amount of votes. However, he's the only one eligible, so they do have cumulatively. I thanks to Ecas having a large vote pool, they cumulatively can deny him here. So Logic was still playing for Gov, boys. He was never out. He's just out of the hedge race. He's maxing himself out. He has speakers, so they absolutely cannot let him have this. And they do deny him by a measly. Measy, like 40 votes. Oh my votes. god. Uh, 40 votes. So less than 40 votes. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, and here's Carino just came back after the nuke. Spielberg just came back after the nuke and tried to get this uh, this capture That's off. That's strange. It shouldn't work in such way. I, like, why? Why? You mean why the village isn't devastated? Uh, it's, it gets devastated for yeah, a few it, days. It's, it's an old bug. It's, it's old bug if your unit somehow survives and stays in the circle. This could be a Village. problem for, for Fizz here. Yeah. Doesn't quite have the... No, this yeah. is the problem with this faction in general. One army wipe and you're just so screwed because you can only train four mechs at a time. But anyway, it's not a special region, so... That's true. It's not going to be a will... massive loss, but... But Ikaz is climbing up here. So Spearberg gonna take this. Re you know, I'm telling you, I like the ECAS position here, man. I like the ECAS position because he's 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 flying under the radar. He just has to. Yeah. If he has the proper late game execution here, look, we got one sanctuary. We have the Mundu Veil, vale, I think, to the far left. That's a sanctuary. Now he's singing that he's capturing that region. I don't like his execution, though. I'm not gonna lie. No, I, I think he should have set up. He should three. have set up a triple cap. He's got 349 authority yeah, yeah. after he has that region. And now this is going to push him into the spotlight. And this is just... Okay, he's 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 at even he's at even ground. Basically, oh, he's ahead now. He's ahead now. And I wonder if he has research center. I'm guessing he does. He, he probably does. So uh, the, ex yeah, ex the does. execution was not so yep. good there. He could have easily spiked this for, for, for a dub. And for anybody new uh the reason you would double and triple cap regions is because after each capture the authority cost goes up um so if you start the capture before the other one finishes the you're saving a little bit of authority yeah so he could have easily snuck in a backdoor win right there 
So now Fizz, who's under pressure from the Carino player Spielberg, and has lost his main but, army. But anyways, he's still in the race, and probably now he will win with the next five stock. Just because again, from the passive hegemony, from these three regions. Even he will have the three regions is 2,000, spy stack is 1,000, it's already 3,000 and he will be around 29, and passive hedge uh, do all the other job. So he just need to defend and hope that Ecos will not uh, take four regions right now. And Fizz is ahead on passive hedge now uh, by plus 45. Yeah, yeah. Plus 52 for Fizz and Ecos has, has the white rift back there. He's getting out passive with Rip. So anyway, Fizz continues the battle with yeah. us with Spielberg here. And, and now this region is heavily fortified with missile turrets, and I think that I think that Spielberg's gonna get pushed back here. What is Logan up to over here? Is he? At least running off from Solari, look, he has some huge problems with Eco. Ekaz pushes ahead by 300 hedge. Uh, it's so sad to see Logic a non-factor in the late game because he committed yeah. so much to the base. To the he, base was, he, was so, he was so close to the guff right now. He was, like, yeah. It was so close. Uh, and if he if he gets that go vote right there, then he probably wins before the next tax hits. And that would be a guaranteed win for him. Well, that was so close. By less than 30 votes. Less than 40 votes. He's in a such horrible position right now. Look, he, he is negative salary. And if he loses yeah, yeah, his I army, told, yeah. yeah. I ju just didn't, felt that it's, I didn't think that it's so bad. Yeah, and if one of those nodes gets deleted... He is deep in negative. Yeah, he's going to start losing buildings here. He has them already. I think he just just needs to cap these three regions right here, right now, near his main base, and defend with nuke, defend like as much as possible because does he have he does nuke? with spy stacks? He will win. He, he will win it. with spy stacks. I don't know if you have need to get uh, another nuke back up. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, the other militia are gonna help. These, the the Furnace militia is vicious with those two drones in there. By the way, the two fighting mechs. They're vicious. So Spielberg pulls back, and Ekaz pulls ahead. Ekaz, if only, if only you knew the tech, Ekaz. I told you I liked your position. This was your game. This was your and game. Ekaz, yeah, he's just the reason he's so negative. Or part one of the reasons is uh, he just has a slider maxed all the way out because he needs to hit this. He needs to pay this tax. And I, that's another thing I don't understand on Bernie is my spice reserves are constantly being drained. And I always find myself having to slide the slider all the way up. And I don't know if it's like a bug with their harvesters or what. Like, I don't get it. But, but all, all, also, it's kind of kind of funny that when you are negative salary, your knowledge produ production drops to zero. So he doesn't. Yeah, but he doesn't, <laughs> no, but he doesn't care. But he doesn't care. Uh, might be. He can sell. He's selling all this yeah. chomp. He's now, selling. If look, find an engagement here. If he has his champions, he could look. Fizz is. Walk. He's going. He's going for Observatory Mountain, boys. He's going in. He's going for Observatory Mountain. Yeah. Recognizes it. I don't Spielberg think recognizes, recognizes it. Spielberg. Spielberg now trying to, I guess, stop this. You know, is Spielberg yeah. even in the race? How much hedge does Spielberg have? I don't know. I don't know. Fizz, just forget about the special. Just take this three regions. Look at me, your main base, and that's all. That's a game. Over, I agree. Close. He's at 17.4. He's, he's not even close. Dude, Governor up again. Smuggler will have the votes this time. Unfortunately, the game will be over before. Unless Smuggler, check it out. He can liberate. If Spielberg stops this cap, 
and Spielberg can stop uh, Fizz, and then he can liberate something off of Ekaz. We have a game here, but Ekaz army looking real beefy right now. And also, oh my he gets god, rejected seven, by seven, seven votes. votes. Seven votes. <laughs> <laughs> Fizz put himself into truce with everybody uh, on the right th yeah. right side there, it looks like. I'm not sure if he voted for it, but... Okay, now now the the, the final confrontation, it looks like, between Fizz is coming. and Spielberg. It's so sad that, I mean, you spent 5k Solari and all Lansrat points you have, and still your enemy can... Uh... <laughs> Just ignore it. Just sidestep it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's definitely a very hard to to get a nuke off effectively, other than to deny a you know a capture that's in progress or something. But yeah, and still we witnessed how it didn't work, and I yeah. just don't get. It's very hard to kill enemy units with the nuke if they. Okay, now the Ekaz army is moving it. Everyone, is he's moving it on 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 on, on uh, Mount Idaho. I don't know Fizz, if it's gonna be. Fizz fights off the Carino army. Okay, he oh. sold all his chumps, so he has some. He has oh. some, uh, some money. He's winning. He winning. He will get the special reason, I think. He will, but yeah. it won't be enough. Ekaz at twenty nine. Ekaz is farming. He's look at that. He's farming with his champions. I told you I like the Ekaz oh. here. Ekaz just can go kill some more militia, bro. Don't just sit there. Just go kill militia. Just farm your win con, man. Come on. It will be a mistake. It will be a mistake if this will try to fight him. He will just give him all the hegemony. Don't Correct. fight, don't fight. Unless he can unless he can target the champions. They're still behind. He's still oh my god, behind. Just, last region. Last region. Near the, he, he oh my god, he's going for it. Oh my Yo, god. the tap attacks is gonna hit in less than it's a it's three quarters of the way through. Oh my god, this is a photo finish, dude. If Fizz can capture this region before Again. tax hits. He's doing it, but is it is it gonna be before? It's before tax, I think. I think he's gonna get a photo finish here. Oh my yeah, God, Ekaz, just farm, farm, bro, farm, his, farm, his, in there farm his militia, dude, Wait, farm his militia, dude. Oh no, Fizz is gonna do it. This is so close. Oh, it's a double oh. cap here, so yeah, GG's. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, Ekaz, dude. Ekaz had it. Wait, had hold on. It. What if he can... Now, the double cap. I was, I was going to say, what if the, the liberation gets through before the tax no. hits? But no, won't, there's yeah. no chance. Because yeah. he's going to cap it. This is with that. It's a GG masterclass for any of his play. Oh, wait, by he Fizz. does have... Yeah, GG. Masterclass for any of his play. We got to ask him how he gets his knowledge so high, dude. Holy crap. GG. Well played. What a game. Well played. This game had everything. Thrills, chills, spills, and kills. All right, I'm going to stop the recording here. We'll do a little bit of post-game yakety-yak with the players. Hopefully they can unmute us.